Arab Fashion Week launched back in 2015 with an agenda of just 12 shows. Today, it's a massive event with 35 runway shows set across an entire week. It's all set in this pop-up building in Dubai's design district, and I'm going to give you a guided tour. Well, it might look pretty chaotic, but everything here is incredibly well organized. This is where the models come to have their hair done before each show. And over here is where they sit to have their makeup looks created, which these artists aim to complete in under 15 minutes. Out here, each designer is given a workspace where they can make final adjustments to their collections and dress the models before each show. Once they're ready, final preparations are made here before these models take to the runway. And this is where the magic happens. Fashion editors, buyers, influencers and VIPs watch the shows to spot the trends of the future. Arab Fashion Week takes place four times a year, marking spring, summer and autumn winter in both women's and men's wear. This week is women's ready to wear spring, summer 2023. And it's not just Arab designers showing here. Fashion houses from around the world are presenting their latest collections. The entire event is run by the Arab Fashion Council. I caught up with its founder and CEO, Jacob Abrian. Jacob, it's great to see you. So tell me about the origins of the Arab Fashion Council. How did all of this begin? It's a very beautiful story because I, I was in my 20s when I was modeling in Milan, where I had the chance to meet in Paris, in Milan, in London, and New York, um, so many designers coming from the Arab world. And uh, I, I told myself, why don't we have this? Why all our designers and why, including me, we have to all travel abroad in order to become successful? And um, I started to work on the business, business plan, business model. The Arab Fashion Council represents the 22 Arab countries because I believe that um, one Arab country on their own can't, can't build a fashion ecosystem. For example, Egypt is one of the biggest countries historically for producing the best quality cotton. Then Tunisia is for the silk and for amazing um, fabric that even French brands are importing fabric from Tunisia, where um, the, Le the Levant countries like Lebanon, um, Jordan, Syria, Palestine, they are, um, they, they are under the cluster of manufacturing. And after you bring the textile from North Africa, you can manufacture and produce everything in those countries. And then um, Dubai as, um, as, a, as a fashion hub and the fashion capital for the entire region is responsible for the marketing, for the export, and for um, hosting a platform like the Arab Fashion Week. Um, so yeah, so that's how it all started. And um, I, I met at that time with, uh, with most of the ambassadors of the Arab world in Italy, and um, very uh, beautiful. They all have supported Dubai, and they all said that Dubai should be the host city uh, due to, to the peace, to the safety, to the pr proper infrastructure. Um, that Dubai is ready to host something on that international level. How have you seen Fashion Week change over the years? I saw already a huge change in terms of, uh, of, of how the Fashion Week is seen and perceived. I see it growing in terms of uh, numbers of days, numbers of designers, number of bookings, and we can even host more. We have so many designers on standby, they are waiting to present their collections in March. But we see that we are able to even host 70 shows every season, which is very achievable in the very near future. What's also interesting from a business perspective is that a lot of the large luxury fashion houses see the Middle East market as critical for their business. But Jacob, how would you describe the state of the fashion industry in the Arab world versus the rest of the world? Is this still a maturing market in your view? The Middle East market is really important because of the consumption power and the, and the purchase power which we have. Um, although I have seen since, uh, since we came to the region um, a massive change in terms of the consumer behavior. These days they, um, they care less about the brand name and they care more about the story, about the designer, about how this collection has been created, what is the inspiration, um, is it sustainable or not. How do you see the future for the Arab Fashion Council developing and the future of Arab Fashion Week? What's in store? 
So basically we are currently known as one of the big five fashion weeks globally. We want to be the five stars fashion week where designers do not um, struggle with the logistics behind preparing their show, um, behind just running uh, for the production, for the lights, for the sound system. This is all thrown on us because we want designers to just focus on creativity and come to Dubai, um, to the fashion week as if they are coming for tourism and enjoy what Dubai has to offer.